Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with designer Cedric Chobosi. Hi. We're looking at a prototype of Dice Quest, a game that will be published by Bombix some point in the future. In one year. Yeah. One year. More or less, yeah. Next con. Probably yes. Yeah. Probably the next so. Uh, but we can learn about the game now. Uh, Cedric was saying design is complete. It is all just graphics, art, yeah, exactly. and everything the, uh, else is done. The, the graphic designer has a lot of work. Or oh, maybe it's very slow, I don't know. But it will take uh, roughly one year to complete the, uh, the game, okay. the, the artwork. But the game here is just the, the prototype uh, that I've done myself. With There's no, no art that, okay. that's been made. So just a rough rough prototype but the mechanic is uh, is here okay uh, so i can explain yes yeah, so you can still learn how to, yeah. how to play so it's uh, basically you, will, you you start with a, a character you have uh, for the moment you have uh, seven of them different different characters here okay with the, their names and so on and uh, they have different uh, effects but basically they will uh, they will play with some dice in this game you have uh, you you yeah uh, you're going to be in a world with five elements Okay. You have the uh, the earth, uh, air, water, uh, the fire, and uh, the magic. Okay, you have five elements. Yes. And each of the dice here will have uh, one face with one element. Okay. And then two faces. Yeah, two faces because it's the red. The red die has two faces of the red. Uh, the red element. Okay. All right. You have little twists. Some dice have a special faces, and they are not of the. Uh, yeah. They don't have two two elements. But basically, that's the idea. When you get a die. Uh, you know that we will have this, this girl here. She will have tr three dice, but she will roll mostly uh, fire. Fire. Yes, yes. And this one, for example, it's uh, it's a flying cat. He has only, he has more air than the other ones. Okay. Uh, uh, there is. You have some. Uh, I don't know the name for that. Uh, cap. Yeah. yeah. The hats. The hats. Yeah. Yes. Red hats. And uh, you will have to to try. In, in the game, you will get uh, new new uh, new characters in your team. You will pick up pick new characters, and at the end of the game, you will have to get uh, each of them will have to have its own his own hat. Okay. So okay. to start with, you have yours, but when, if, for example, if you get this one, you will have to get one hat at the end of the game. Okay. And, if you, and if you manage to do that, you, you will have ten more ten points if each of them has a hat. So this one has his, has his own. Okay. So these are points at the end of the game, and then each turn. The, uh, you can earn points you, as you well. You can earn points and hats. This one make, makes hats. Uh, if you do one uh, one white, one yellow, okay. uh, you get two points. Okay. Okay. Uh, the big dice are your your permanent dice. Here you have your it's your power. And in the game you will get some little dice here. Okay. Uh, these are this will uh, move between the players. You don't you you, you won't keep them, and uh, you will choose them according to the color. So in your on your turn. Uh, you will, uh, for, for example, I'm the first player here, so I will pick up a card, so a new character in my team. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will have to take the uh, the little dice, okay? Uh, depending on the on the, the dice I take, I will choose. I don't know. Uh, I'm more red, so this one means uh, each time I don't have no no white, no red, I will get six points. So okay, it's not very bad interesting choice. for me. Uh, this one uh, maybe can be okay, but uh, if, uh, so you have to choose. I will go for this one, for example. Okay. So it, it gives you some uh, reward tokens here. Okay. okay. So and I take the dice. So you do your choice. So okay. you can choose. This one might be a good option. That's, that's yeah. probably yeah. But you will, have, you will have a, a fi minus five at the end of the game. So once once everybody has uh, has chosen, we, we will roll all our dice like this. Okay. okay. And you. And now you decide or not to re-roll. So you can re-roll oh, by using your. Good. I gave you two, two because you were last in the in the first round. So you you can discard this to re-roll one or two dice, okay. depending on what you want. But here I think, yeah, it's it's uh, it, it looks okay. And here I will not do nothing else as well. Uh, when we play with two players, there is a special rule. But when I when I choose a card, I just discard one and then you pick another one. But it will right. just to show it, okay. Uh, and then when it's finished, uh, I get the reward because everything is okay. So I get two points and uh, okay, so I move here. And then you get uh, you get uh, you have two two whites, so you will get two points and two. Uh, what's the name for this? The uh, uh, feet prints. Yeah, and this. No oh, footprints. Yes, or a uh, compass. Compass. Yes. So yes. you will get to, uh, the compass, compass and the footprints is the same. It's just uh, the, the, the the old the un former prototype had footprints and this okay. one. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. It's exactly the same. So you get this. This you don't get, uh, and two points here. Okay. 
And now, once uh, once it's finished, we will move. Uh, there is a, a voyage here, traveling path. Uh, you will you will check because when you roll your dice, you have to know that. Uh, you activate your characters, but also you move on the path here. Okay. Uh, the objective is to move your house up to uh, up to the 20 points here. Okay. So here you you won't be able to move unless you discard your your compasses here. Each compass that you will be a joker. Yeah, will be a joker exactly. Yeah, so I but, could end up going yeah, but here, for here the moment, and then white. For the moment, it's not very. You can you can wait a little bit. And myself, I will move three red, for example, like this. Okay. Okay. So first round is finished. You, you, you become the first player, these cards are discarded, and then we don't roll again the little dice. According to their result, we will place them here on the spot. Okay. Check, check. And then ah, we draw a new yes. card. So this is a special card here, I will uh, not use it. Just to show the, uh, <laughs> the, ne the, next, uh, the next step. And if there's no die, you put a compass here, okay? okay. And then you choose first. Okay. And we carry on like this. It's eight rounds. Okay. So you try to, to go up to the to the end, and when it's finished, you get. We will get of course points during Point. the game. Right. So you add the position of your house in a city here, okay. according to the position. The the points on the characters. Of course, uh, this woman here is not very nice, but you can discard it by going in some places here. Right. Or there's some other uh, abilities this, too. This 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 is. Uh, when you choose this guy, you will get six points at the end of the game. But if at one stage during the game you make two blue, uh, it's discarded and you get a compass. So okay. you have to be careful with the colors you choose and so on. Uh, some of them will get you extra, extra die, extra dice like this. For example, it's a, it's a new permanent permanent, permanent uh, green, but uh, it can be discarded uh, with. Uh, so okay. it's very, very fast. Uh, so you, then, get, you get the points, 10 points for the for the hat, if everybody has a, his own hat, and one point for... The compasses, and that's each finished. compass. Okay. So it's very, yeah, very fast, more family family orientated, and uh, and that's it. So with this uh, this uh, mechanic of uh, the dice that... Uh, yeah, move. the shifting of the dice is, is really interesting as well, just because, <laughs> yeah. yes, it makes something desirable that wasn't before, exactly. and of course you take a chance, I know I'm next, yeah. so I may leave somebody and hope that you get a lot more dice yeah. dumped in there. And you can always yeah. re-roll your dice by using this, or you can also move the, move back to the ne to the, the next uh, spot with a re-roll. Spot with a re-roll, so okay. they get more uh, yeah, spa yeah, spaced more out space as we do yeah, here. Yeah, okay. Between them, and that's that's basically it. I won't explain all the little things. Uh, something interesting. Th this part will be uh, uh, removable, and you will uh, they will have uh, four different uh, travel. Uh, Travel things like this one, for example. It's just a, yeah. This one is a forbidden valleys. You have a forbidden color each time. Ah. And this, yes. you have another another which can change the game. You have a island, uh, some islands, uh, depending on the number of different uh, colors you uh, you roll and so on. Okay. I need to to design a, a, a fourth one. But, uh, it's it's in the yeah. Okay. I'm doing it. And don't forget that you have uh, different characters. You have seven of them. Yes. So they have different powers and uh, the green and uh, etc. Okay. So this the the, the mechanics are the, the mechanically it's set I think. Uh, and uh, I wanted to talk about the, the graphic uh, graphic design. So uh, Bombix, you know them for their uh, yeah Imaginarium the, and uh, yes. Abyss, and uh, they are very very good at uh, yeah. Extremely uh, good at yeah, focus yeah. on the on That's the graphics like, there. Uh, Yes. So that's why I showed them uh, this game. And they had a uh, uh, brilliant idea, is that uh, the game will be about, uh, the victory points will be light points, and we will be in a very dark world and we'll try to find the light. Okay. And uh, the characters will be half human, half uh, animals, and they will, uh, they will meet familiar, familiars during, the, during, the traveling, uh, during their traveling. The cars will be familiars, and they will be all uh, black and white like this. I don't know if, yeah, like this. With a black, I don't know if you see you see it uh, correctly. Yeah, like in zooming in yeah. to show. Uh, the, the name of the guy is uh, ben, Benjamin Basso, B A S S O. Yeah. So just to show the, uh, you see, he's, he's doing a lot of animals, uh, and it's gonna be of, yeah, it's yeah. Maybe it's a guy. Focus. And the only colored uh, thing that you will have in the game would be the dice. Okay. That will. Uh, come out.
Okay. So I think uh, I'm pretty excited about yeah. the. Uh, about the uh, you can definitely imagine looking at the work they've done for Imaginarium. <laughs> imagine, yes, what, what they could do as well. I right think uh, it yeah, looked really I, sharp. I, I think it's going to be amazing I think, visually. So. Okay. Well, thank you very much, yeah, Cedric, for an overview for, of Dice Quest, yeah, thank you. a preview of what's coming a year from now yeah. at Con 2020. So look ahead for that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you.